Hello there. Uh, welcome to your introduction for solving quadratics by factoring. Now, one of the important things that you have to recognize when we're going to solve these quadratic equations, and quadratics are things that have a scenario where it's x to the power of 2. That 2 there means it's quadratic. And oftentimes when we do solving quadratics, by, we solve them by factoring. And we get something that looks like this. The reason why we have to do that is we want one side of the equation equals 0. Then we have here, we have two numbers. They're funny looking numbers, granted, but they're two numbers. One is x minus 3. This is one number times another number. And what we do is we say, well, one of these two things has to be 0. Because when I multiply two numbers, if I have a number times a number that equals 0, I know for sure one of those has to be 0 which is different than if I have a number times a number equal to, let's say, 5. I don't know anything about either of these two numbers. There's an infinite amount of combinations that those could be. So that's, I don't want that. I want it equal to 0 because I know guaranteed that either this number or this number is 0. And that is called the null factor law. Okay, and so when I apply the null factor law, I know that x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 5 equals 0. And so now I have two equations that are linear, meaning at exponent 1, I add 3 to both sides and I know x equals 3. Subtract 5 from both sides, and I know x equals minus 5. And there are two answers, and you need to have them both. Welcome to the introduction.